conflict has existed since the beginning of time, and because of this the military has been around for almost as long. Although new technology and modern advances may have changed the way the military works, remnants of the past still remain and odd rituals and traditions are still honoured to this day. Here are the nine weirdest military traditions. No before you go! Number 1. Dining in Dining in is a formal dinner where all unit members get together to have food, drink and other morale building events. The event has etiquette rules ranging from not toasting an empty glass to no foul language and many others. Violators of the rules will be fined and have to drink from the grog bowl. Grog is a rum and water mix invented by the British Navy to ration rum, conserve water and limit drunkenness. In this case, grog is a mix of whatever anyone wants to put in it and it's normally served in a toilet bowl. Number 2. Call Signs Hollywood has us believe that if you become a fighter pilot in the Air Force, your squadron gives you a seriously cool call sign like Sharpshooter. But the truth is that if they do call you Sharpshooter, it's probably because you're a really bad shot. Your squaddies will get together and vote on your call sign and then you'll be stuck with it forever. So even if you're an ace pilot, good looking and loved by everyone, if you get caught once eating a pop tart, you know what your call sign's going to be. Number 3. Challenge Coins A challenge coin is a small coin or medallion that is given out to members of an organisation or on visits to an organisation or for special achievements. Troops collect these coins throughout their career and usually keep them in display cases or something similar. However, if a troop is in a bar with his unit, he may pull out his coin and shout COIN CHECK. All the members of his unit must produce their own coins. If one fails to do so, he must buy a round of drinks for the others. If anyone has a coin, the initial challenger must buy the round. Number 4. Blood Wings when graduates of the Air Force receive their wings or paratroopers receive their parachutist badge, it's a tradition for this to be pinned to their chest, literally. The pin is fastened to their chest and then hit so it pierces their skin. Blood stripes are similar. When a soldier is promoted, the new rank is placed on their arm and then punched by everyone. Number 5. Competitions Mustache March is an annual tradition for the US Air Force, where everyone grows out their mustache to honour Air Force legend Robin Olds and his protest against the US Air Force facial hair regulations. Some female officers have criticised the event, saying that it makes women feel they are not welcome in the military, while other female officers just put on a fake moustache to join in on the fun. Number 6. Pillow Battle Royale for generations, cadets at West Point Military Academy have marked the end of summer training with a massive nocturnal pillow fight. This event was initially for cadets to blow off steam and bond as a group. Unfortunately, in 2015, this battle royale turned nasty. First year cadets, known as plebs, were injured by elbows and other body parts in the scuffle. After the event, it was found that a lack of supervision from the upper class cadets meant that the event spiralled out of control. The Pillow Battle Royale has now been banned and no longer forms part of West Point's tradition. Number 7. Blow Your Hat Off when a platoon receives a new lieutenant, it is tradition to shoot their patrol cap. And we don't mean handgun shoot, we mean rocket shoot. The tradition is that the new lieutenant's hat is stolen and taped to the back plate of a rocket and then the rocket is fired. The charred remains of the hat is then signed by all the members of the team and given back to the lieutenant. In order to stay in uniform, the lieutenant is then forced to wear the hat for the rest of the day. <laughs> Number 8. Sword Butt Slap a military wedding is steeped in tradition. Perhaps one of the most romantic is when the groom's friends form an archway with their swords for the bride and groom to walk through, and then at the end they cross their swords as the bride and groom kiss under the arch. It's their way of saying, we protect him and now we protect you too. As they exit the arch, one of them will lower his sword and slap the bride on the butt and say, welcome to the army, ma'am. Number 9. Cherry Paratroopers 
After finishing jump school, trainee paratroopers must perform their first division jump. The tradition is that your superiors give you some hostess cherry pies, saying you'll be hungry when you land. You'll put them in your cargo pockets for later and then jump. You'll land just as you've practiced hundreds of times and squash those cherry pies in your pockets, thus popping your cherry. Do you know of any weird military traditions? Comment below and please like and subscribe for more.